Hey guys. So today's video, I just wanted to share with you guys some of the um, some of the benefits that I've noticed with myself from practicing yoga nidra. I have been practicing daily for me personally um, since June uh, 2022. So it's been about eight months, I'd say. Um, so I just wanted to share that. I will also post a link to another video below, like in the comments, um, about where uh, my teacher goes through the common uh, conditions that people who like practice her videos will come back and say, like the yoga nature is helping me with X condition or Y condition. Um, so I haven't been practicing with enough people to get that kind of feedback. So you'll have both videos to look through. So this video is just my own experience. So physically, it's helped me a lot with my fibromyalgia symptoms, I've noticed. Um, I, when my hands start to feel like like it's it's like a kind of like it's a nerve pain and nerve discomfort is usually what will happen. Um, I've noticed when I do practice yoga nidra that most of the time the pain will either decrease or it actually will go away altogether. Depends on the day, um, which I thought was super helpful. Um, physically, yoga nidra does a lot of like has a lot of positive effects on your nervous system. And uh, the neuroscientists are actually like actively studying this now. And they've been confirming this in various things. Um, one that I know uh, of specifically is uh, Dr. Andrew Huberman. He has a free, like he has a YouTube channel or it's just a free podcast where he actually shares a lot of the research that he is finding on a bunch of different things, but I will put a link below to like the stuff that he talks about with like sleep and uh, like yoga nidra, or you might hear the term non-sleep deep rest, because that is the scientific term <laughs> that they use when they're referring to things. But he explains things in a way that is, I feel easy for it's easy to understand. It's like, he'll speak like in the scientific way. And then he translates it like right after that. So it's like, oh, okay. You know, so he, he's really good at talking to like explaining things on both of those levels. So I guess I'll put that link in there too. Um, so yeah, anxiety, um, whenever I feel like overstimulated, um, which is kind of actually a feeling that I feel in my brain now. It used to kind of feel more like a foggy energy and that was it. And sometimes my anxiety still feels that way, but it's a mixture of both. But either way, I've noticed when I go and um, practice yoga nidra, the anxiety, regardless of how I'm feeling it, it starts to go down. Sometimes it'll be completely gone. Sometimes it'll be just like, okay, I can function better. And, and I guess that's going to be the main thing that I keep coming back to with yoga nidra is that I feel more functional afterwards, which for any of y'all who've been on my channel for a while, y'all know that that's a huge thing, <laughs> you know, to, to be able to function in day to day. Um, I've noticed I have more energy um, throughout the day. I usually practice the non-sleep deep rest type ones. There are yoga nidras that are specifically designed for insomnia and sleep. So like they're specifically intentionally designed to help you go to sleep and like sleep better, or at the very least recoup some of the rest that you wouldn't have gotten to recoup otherwise. Um, so I'm talking more energy in terms of the ones that I just do within the day where the intention is not to go to sleep. It's just to rest deeply. Um, I end up more energized. And those y'all who deal with fatigue, like y'all know how debilitating that can be. So um, I feel, again, more functional because 
my energy levels are better. At the very least, I feel like there is a reset, you know? This is one of the reasons why I practice every day. People don't have to, but I I find that it helps me to practice every day. Um, let's see, so improved pain, increased energy levels, improved anxiety. I notice my breathing a lot more now. And this wasn't something that I thought was like a big deal before outside of like when I'm actively like doing a meditation. But I feel like when I start to feel anxious or tense, like say I'm not like in the red zone, like, oh my God, like I can't function or like the yellow, but say like I'm in like, well, yeah, the yellow, the yellow, like it's like, okay, you're kind of going up in intensity, but you're not quite at that like really high point yet. Like I didn't realize just how often my breathing, like how I'm breathing, including like the muscles that are being like used when you're holding your breath or tensing. Like I didn't realize just how often that happened before I got into like a really anxious episode. And uh, that happens a lot. And I didn't notice as much until I started Yoga Nidra. So what I'm finding is that I'm more often able to catch myself going up the like going up the like you know anxiety or just overstimulated intensity kind of thing um I don't it doesn't even necessarily have to be anxiety I spend a lot of time on my computer and I can only spend but so much time on my like devices and stuff before my brain's like okay overstimulated and then the body and stuff starts to tense up like I've I've been able to catch my like I guess physical cycles more which is really really interesting for me so it's helped me prevent a couple of episodes of either just intense pain because I'm not listening to the body's cues or just like feeling really overstimulated and tired because I'm not listening to the body's cues so I guess yoga nidra has helped me reconnect with my body in a way that saves energy and also feels safe. What else? Yeah, I guess the last thing is that I'm just noticing more things about myself like how I operate, like I'm noticing more thoughts, noticing more beliefs, noticing um, emotions and like, I'm noticing my own like brain, body, mind, body connection in a deeper way that I wasn't able to do before because I just was tired all the time. So, man. Yoga Nidra's helped with a lot of stuff. So I will put a link in the description below, like I said, of some other conditions that people have messaged my teacher, my Yoga Nidra teacher about, like as far as how Yoga Nidra has helped them. And I will put a link uh, about for Dr. Humerman's lab podcast, where he talks about the research with sleep, including his own research, with yoga nidra. So I hope this was helpful. If you feel an inkling to give yoga nidra a try or a non-sleep deep rest, you can Google either, not Google. Oh my gosh, might as well be. You can YouTube, <laughs> since they're the same company. You can go on YouTube and do a search for um, NSDR or um, yoga nidra either one you'll find videos they have their five minute practices 10 30 two hours whatever you need <laughs> it's on youtube so 
With that said, I'll see y'all in another video.